and kind of flex your legs up into a side sitting position because you're going to use both hands on the chair and pull it. Pretend you don't have lower extremities. Pull yourself into a, a modified kneeling, tall kneeling position. Yes. And drag your, yep. Right? And then pull yourself up and rotate. So this is a patient who has full upper extremity strength, good abdominal strength, a paraplegic patient, and, and good strength of their upper extremity. It didn't require excess range of motion on the hamstrings or the shoulders, but definitely full upper body strength. Does he ever actually kneel for this one? So he can be kneeling, but his legs, he has no hip extensors. So it's not like he's weight bearing, he's weight, he's positioned in kneeling, but he has no active motion. So his upper body is holding his balance the whole entire time he's in that posture. Mm -hmm. You're kind of coming into kneeling almost using whatever abdominals you have to almost let them bend. They, you know, they wouldn't stay straight like that. They would be flat. <laughs> but those are the three techniques. The first one is hamstring range of motion, 45 degrees, bend the legs, internal rotate the foot, head hip relationship, use the fist position for the lower arm, upper arm is elbow to the ceiling, scoot the hips up. The second one is shoulder back up to the chair, flex the lower extremities, head hip relationship, but shoulder extension. And the third one is facing the chair, lifting the body, it's all arms. It's lifting their whole body with their arms and rotating their body. The therapist really makes sure they're in the right position and then you physically assist them. I'm not gonna, I mean, you guys are all able-bodied. I don't have to assist you, but you would physically assist your patient as needed. So for your practical, if you're pretending your patient can't do it, where would you physically assist them as needed to make them actively assist? The only person I see, just a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And you repositioned your arms. You did that naturally. So that was really good. Any, so those are the